10 years, $95 million, an average of $9.5 million per season. I know initially, and I want to start with Bobby, the original, when it, when the news broke, it wasn't met with a, a lot of enthusiasm. But now that we've had time to really kind of sit back and process it, it makes a ton of sense in, on a number of levels. Well, uh, would you say uh, they wanted a younger coach? Uh, because my understanding, with Brian Kelly's like 60 years of age. Yeah. I mean, uh, look at Saban, Coach Saban, how old he is. They just got to win. You just got to win, and I think they will win. Uh, I don't think I know they're going to win, but will they win the ultimate championship? Uh, look, he got Notre Dame to the postseason. He can get LSU to postseason. Now you have to have breaks go your way. You have to win. All I know, you just look at his resume. Uh, probably have any football coach ever to arrive uh, at LSU uh, that is the best resume. It just has a lot of skins in the wall, a lot of wins. Uh, if you look at it, uh, now we're going to judge him probably after um, – Week one, and it's going to be a significant game, a uh, household name. But Florida State's not the Florida State of old. But next season, to kick off the season, the season opener in the season Superdome, they're playing Florida State. I would say right now, hell yeah, we should be Florida State. Florida State's not the Florida State of old, so that's going to be expectations there from the get-go to take care of business. But uh, I said this in the sports flash. He's gone 113 and 40 in, in, in South Bend for the Fighting Irish. He surpassed the legendary Newt Rockney. As Notre Dame's winning as coach. Hmm. Everyone knows Newt Rockney. That, that, that's like... Uh, you don't even have to follow uh, football is that regularly. Like, is, that, is that like a meme? Like if you put a coach and you put a picture of Newt Rockney? Is, is that, is that, that's not a meme? What, no, would you call, what would you call that? To associate an individual. You just see his face. Oh, well, that's, that's a great coach. How would you describe um, that? Hologram? Well, whatever it is. Everyone knows Newt Rockney. They know that name if you know football. Bottom line. The past five years have been Kelly's best. You know, what have you done for me lately? His winning percentage is uh, almost 86%. 54 and 9 with two college football playoff appearances. And uh, you remember he had that Citrus Bowl win against the LSU Fighting yeah. Tigers in 2017 season. Now over his. Uh, uh, and then, so when you compare him to Lincoln Riley, I think it would have been a win win either way. Lincoln Riley, over oh, his five years at OU. Uh, he went 55 and 10, so he basically had a winning percentage of 84, 85 percent. So they both in the same area as far as uh, the winning percentage. And he went to the uh, college football playoffs, uh, three appearances, not winning anything, but getting his team there. Uh, I'd be surprised if uh, give him four years. If LSU now LSU fans might not be this patient, that he'll get them uh, in the championship series, even if they stay only to four teams. You know, if it goes to 8, 12, yeah, whatever. Yeah, the expansion meeting is tomorrow. But yeah, well, whenever that happens. But it, let's say it stays at four. I, I'd be surprised if he does not get him in the final four within uh, three or four years. Mike, Brian Kelly is stability. He brings stability to a program that has been, aside from 2019, a little unstable at times. Well, he's no lightning rod head coach. You, you had two of them, uh, Les and his personality and uh, Coach O. Uh, they were lightning rod coaches. Uh, you're not going to get that with Brian. Brian's the uh, sort of the adult in the room, you know, <laughs> and uh, he's always been known, strict guy, disciplinarian, a guy that is a fundamentally strong coach. He teaches it, preaches it, mentally tough. And, uh, you know, it wasn't, when you think about it, he was a guy that early on they approached and he, Sort of uh, wasn't interested. I do think he was interested in the USC job initially because we heard it uh, from Kirk Herbstreet. Now, Kirk didn't pull that from the sky. Right. He catches a lot of flack that, oh, at, you know, a few years back he had that Les was going to go to Michigan. Come on, he heard that from Les. Uh, things change. But he didn't pull that out of the sky. He pulled that from here and Les tell him. And he heard this, I assume, from Brian Kelly, that Brian told him this. This is not coming from an agent. It's coming from Brian. And when you look at it, who produces more NFL players, Indiana or Louisiana? Figure it out. Louisiana has been in the top four uh, per capita producing players over the last seven years. And they've been in the number one spot in three history. times. Yeah, yeah, so. so, man, Indiana is a, is a basketball state. state and, <laughs> and he's had to recruit out-of-state kids. Now, five out of the last seven years – Brian has pulled the guy from Louisiana. 
and he's pulled a ton of kids from Texas. So people that say, oh, he don't know the South. Well, uh, all the thing I know is five out of the last seven years, he's gotten somebody from Louisiana. He's gotten a ton of players from Texas to go there. He must know the route uh, a little bit. Well, it's going to be a lot easier to get in school at LSU than Notre Dame. And that's too. the other part. The academic yeah, yeah. people don't realize how difficult it is to get in at Notre Dame in comparison to other schools. Listen, they put their own requirements in, just like Stanford, just like Vanderbilt does. It's you got to get that that score to North get in. Northwestern and Chicago. Chicago is another yeah, difficult yeah. school. Well, and, and and the thing is, as we go on to the break, um, I said within three or four years you'll get to the playoffs. But you know what? He's got to get to the playoffs. He has to win a championship because LSU fans are small now. Look at the 21st century. And they say, look what, what you're getting paid. Yeah, and, and you won three championships. So not just going to the playoffs, he's going to have to eventually win. Because that's one thing. He's been a winner wherever he's been, going to Grand Valley State, Central Michigan, Cincinnati, Notre Dame. He's, all, college. Uh, uh, he's always won. He's won, but then he wants to win a championship, and that's going to be the key.